Oh hi, my name is Annika and I have this dream to ski every ski hill in North America from rope toe to resort. Today I'll be sharing the morning I had at Dartmouth Skiway with my best friend Meg. Let's get it going. So if you've seen my other videos, you may have noticed that there was no video of me dancing like a fool in front of a sign for my intro. That's due to just not being able to find it and then also not wanting to go and find it because it was very wet weather. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> southern New Hampshire turned to snow around Sunapee and then to a heavy slush when I finally pulled into Lyme, New Hampshire. I have made it. Um, it looks like it is just very slushy snow at the moment. The drive here, I was <laughs> I started at like 7, was supposed to get here before 9. It is like 20 minutes after 9. Uh, <laughs> The drive was a little rough. Nothing had been really plowed at all, and through Sunapee area, it was actual snow. So, and so I'm gonna try and get ready as much as I can in the car. Okay, let's see how this goes. best friends from college. She's been one of the best roommates I've ever had. Okay, yeah, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I can always make me laugh, which is important in college. <laughs> like a snowman. Do <laughs> you want to build a snowman? <laughs> I know the f*** you do. <laughs> Being able to pivot. Okay. Pivot! <laughs> pivot! Pivot! pivot. <laughs> just sitting in our living room and just watching vines And then over being and like, over. eh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh, so fun. We don't get to see each other all that often, so it was such a treat to be able to ski with her at her home mountain. Slush or no slush. So I actually haven't skied on these exact skis before. Ooh, okay. These are brand spanking new. So this is the, the Forter. Well, this is pretty. Yeah. So this is just one chairlift that's open right now. Right, and the other one, there are two, <laughs> yeah. is uh, over there. I do love the other side because of the view at the top. You get um, March Mountain. Okay. Dartmouth College was considered the collegiate champion of the outdoor life and winter sports in the early 20th century. Some men even skied for the United States in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. To maintain their preeminence in skiing, a pommel lift was installed on Holtz Ledge and open to skiers for the 1956-57 winter season. Winslow, on the other side of the valley, was developed in the late 60s due to the popularity of Holtz Ledge. Yeah, so there's like a couple new things on this okay. side that I haven't done before. There's a glades that they have as a trail now. Ooh, we'll see if it's open. Yeah, and then there's this other one kind of in between the um, 
lift line and like the easiest one to get down to the bottom. A lot of the trail names on this side at least are named after like college things because it's associated with Dartmouth, which I didn't yeah. realize before. There's one that goes way out that like they never used to groom, I don't know if they do anywhere, <laughs> um, called MD. Mm -hmm. And I was always like, what is MD stand for? And one of my instructors was always like, oh, it's a mad dog. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so I always thought it was that, but no, medical no. doctor. The medical doctor. Yes, no. And then there's one called cum laude. But as I got older, you know, all the guys that were still skiing would be like, <laughs> cum. So, <laughs> and I didn't get that either. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, it's really coming down. It really, really is. <laughs> Now, I can deal with wet weather. I've spent hours in the wet winter days, and it has thankfully not done too much damage to me yet, but it's obviously not my favorite. I kind of went into it thinking, what can rain really do? It's just wet. And then I kind of forget that it's wet and cold, and the second you get wet, everything is just so much more miserable. Yep, needles. Yep, needles. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> Yep. I need to get my other pair. <laughs> um, my entire buttocks is a nice cube. <laughs> but most annoying of all is everything post-production. We didn't do too many runs, but the runs we did do are really hard to see. I can you see! No. <laughs> I tried my best to keep my GoPro lens clean. Camera. Uh, there you go. Good, good GoPro. Good GoPro. <laughs> but it obviously didn't do too much for too long. It was early enough in the season that any snow was appreciated in New England. But this stuff was definitely a struggle. A few inches of the heavy snow would be enough to cause a nasty knee injury if you weren't careful. This sort of stuff can really end up like breaking your knee. Yeah. <laughs> if you kept your speed, you can easily cut through it. But higher speed also means higher impact if you were to catch an edge. I feel like this is gonna be a short day, Annika. That's okay. Okay. No, I totally expected that too. Totally fine. Okay. I got to be here yes. and I got to be with you. And yes. that's all that matters. Okay. This morning, when I was like putting my skis in the car, mm -hmm. it was dark oh, and yep. soaking wet. Yep. Like this is snow. Right. We had straight slush. Right. Oh, it was really gross. And I was like, I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> and my parents were like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents were like, yeah, have fun. <laughs> I was like, thanks. <laughs> I regret my decision. I know. But Question. Yeah. How many runs would you say gets you your money's worth? <laughs> um, one or two more? Yeah. Four runs okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, I was thinking like if it was going to be upwards of like seven. No, I no, 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 dude. Seven. <laughs> I'm not really into that today. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the money that I spend on places yeah. like this as yeah. both like I came here I have I could literally just go and still call it like I've been here yeah. and also I think of like I'd like to support ski hills right yeah. now because it's super rough yeah. especially for a lot of these small places yeah. where it's like um yeah no uh, <laughs> I'm very thankful you're so yeah. open <laughs> there was the one kid that was just like straight like bombing it and yep. I was like awesome. Yep. That's what I used to do. I used to be able to do that. There, no fear once upon a time. <laughs> right, right. Teaching kids they have no fear and that's usually like why they don't hurt themselves right. either because right. when they fall it's just kind of like ragdoll right. where a lot of adults when they're skiing and learning right. they end up hurting themselves because you're gonna fall. Right. Like it's part of learning. Right. And you just tense up and that makes yeah. Sense. With waterlogged gloves, masks, oh and goggles Holy crap. <laughs> as well as the tough skiing. I don't know. This is not my trail today, I think. That's okay. <laughs> we called it quits pretty early. Overall, the day felt like a bit of a mess. Look at this thing. It's so waterlogged. Going into this project, I knew that there wouldn't be perfect days for every single ski hill. There's going to be days with spotty conditions and bad weather, or just days where I'm not feeling the best. I just hope that I can make the most of every single ski hill that I can. And so this day just happened to be one of those days. But if anything, I hope this just gives me a reason to come back. 
I'd especially love to go and see Holt's Edge and the view from there, but that side was closed, unfortunately. A messy day, but it was still really fun. So thank you to Dartmouth Skiway and all of the staff for working hard, even in bad conditions. And a huge thank you to Meg for everything and more. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the bag. <gasps> Yay, this Have is on my good read. Really? Yeah. Okay, good, because this, I read that one this year, oh, and it's actually one of my favorites of the 2020 year. Yay. So much fun. Oh. It's about writers Yay. falling in love. Oh. <laughs> enemies to lovers thank again. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I love enemies to lovers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course. Oh. <laughs> I love this envelope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then, I uh, don't, don't need to read it while I'm here. But. <laughs> You're awesome, and I can't wait to hang out again when it's a little bit safer to do so. I love you, bye. Okay, that is number five out of 688. Yep, I actually did it. I counted all of them, and I'm trying not to think about that number too much because it's a really high number. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye. There's all loony. <laughs> Get out there. Why does that sound weird? Why do I just... Oh. <sighs> trying to... What? I'm trying. Why do I just slur my words? I'd be enough. What? If you aren't careful. Helpful. Mm-hmm. <sighs>